seduce with its overtones of sex and wrong doing isn't the kind of word you expect Bible translators to use. And in Jeremiah 20, verse 7, they don't, by and large. So I need to convince you in this podcast that my translation that I used in the previous podcast is a proper and fair translation of Patar in that verse in Jeremiah 20, verse 7. I have to convince you that there are sexual overtones and that there is some sense of persuading somebody to something that is wrong in some shape or form. That's what I'm about to do in the next five minutes. You're listening to Tim Bolkley's 5-Minute Bible. Did God seduce Jeremiah? In an earlier podcast on the last of Jeremiah's confessions in Jeremiah 20, I simply assumed the translation seduce for the Hebrew verb patach, but seduce isn't the translation favoured by most translators into English. So, in Jeremiah 27 following, does Jeremiah claim that Yahweh seduced him, or not? Like I said, a quick look at the English translations shows that pata has a range of meanings. In the NASB it's deceive or persuade, in the KJV it's deceive or entice, in the NET it's coerce or entice, in the NIV it's deceive or entice, and in the NRSV it's simply entice. As this list suggests, the sense the translators see here most often in this passage involves either persuading someone to an action with an offered or promised reward or deceiving them with enticing being the predominant choice like most words but more than many pata carries a meaning that will in other languages be rendered in different ways according to the context it does indeed suggest persuading though often with the sense of deceiving and sometimes of coercing in the Karl it simply has the sense very often of being simple open-minded or deceived, and in its first occurrence in the Bible in Genesis 9:27, it just means enlarge. The form we have in Jeremiah 20 verse 7 is the PL, that's a particular form of the Hebrew verb. Hebrew verbs change their meaning quite significantly between these forms, so it's important to look for the right form when you're checking on the meaning of a word. The PL of pata is used 17 times in the Hebrew Bible. It means enlarge, like we said in Genesis 9:27. It means to seduce a virgin girl in Exodus 22:15, verse 16 in English. It means to coax or entice, used of Delilah's technique for getting information from her husband in Judges 14:15 and 16:5. But it's also used for tricking Ahab in 1 Kings 22:20, 20, 21, 22, and the same story in 2 Chronicles 18, or of humans attempting to trick Yahweh as if Yahweh were merely a god in Psalm 78, verse 36. It sometimes just means deceive, 2 Samuel 3.25 or Proverbs 24.28. But it can mean seduce in Hosea 2 verse 1. There Yahweh is the seducer, seducing or persuading his wife Israel to return to him from her lovers. In Proverbs 1.10 it might be either coax or entice or deceive, but Proverbs 16.29 clearly suggests the use of force that's the usage that people point to when they want to claim that Jeremiah is actually claiming he's been raped. Ezekiel 14.9 is perhaps the closest usage at first sight to Jeremiah 20. It involves someone deceiving a prophet into inquiring of Yahweh on their behalf, even though they, the inquirer, are an idol worshipper. And in that case we are told by Ezekiel that Yahweh will do the same to the prophet and even kill him. So, basically most of the usages involve persuading someone to do wrong, often by using sexual wiles. The question that remains concerns Jeremiah 20 verse 7. Does Yahweh here trick a gullible Jeremiah into doing wrong? Or does Yahweh here seduce Jeremiah? Clearly the sexual overtones cannot be intended literally, but is this the picture that's being painted by Jeremiah? Now I find it difficult in this case to see Jeremiah claiming that Yahweh has treated him like the prophet in Ezekiel, or indeed like the prophet in 1 Kings 22. Because Jeremiah affirms clearly and repeatedly that he has spoken the truth. So I suggest rather that he's claiming to be like an innocent girl, and on this compare his first confession in 1118 following, where he claims to be like an innocent animal, ignorant of what's happening, led to the slaughter. I think 
in jeremiah twenty he's claiming to be like an innocent girl whom yahweh has persuaded to do as he wishes because in jeremiah twenty seven that seems to me to be the choice that we have either jeremiah accuses yahweh of treating him like a prophet who takes payment from idolaters to give an oracle which makes no sense to me that's what jeremiah's opponents have been doing or jeremiah is claiming that yahweh charmed him into what has he has done like a girl seduced by her lover those are the options that's the evidence what do you think <laughs>